Well, first off, what is the Odyssey? If you haven't read it before, the Odyssey is one of two major ancient Greek poems attributed to Homer, the other being the Iliad. The Odyssey tells the story of Odysseus, king of Ithaca, as he is lost at sea for 10 years trying to get home after the Trojan War. For a quicker summary, it's also just a story representing how much the universe hates Odysseus and wants him to suffer. So yeah, enjoy! Our story begins with Odysseus and his fleet returning home from Troy. Their supplies are scarce and are forced to stop at the island of the Lotus Eaters. So, while we're on this island, you guys need to look out, alright? You can't eat the Lotus Flowers. Super dangerous, brainwash you. Got it? We got whatever. Five minutes later. Hmm, you want one? Ah, I already got one. More for me. Come back. Oh, for the love. After dragging his crew back onto the ship, they continued their journey onto the island of the Cyclops. Stay behind me. We're only looking for food. Look at all the sheep this cave has. We're going to be able to feed the entire fleet. Hi there. We're just travelers. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure we did not need to steal anything. Surely we can repay you for the cheap we killed. Um, I can give you the world's best tasting wine. Yeah. Here. Thank you, stranger. What's your name? My name is Nobody. Oh, you gift, Nobody. You will be the last to die. Wait, what? The Cyclops proceeded to kill two of his men before falling asleep. Unfortunately, the Cyclops pushed a giant boulder in front of the cave, preventing any of Odysseus' men from escaping. Thankfully, Odysseus and his crew took this as a chance to blind the Cyclops instead. Uh, oh, no. Listen. Polyphemus, are you alright? Who has hurt you? Gah, nobody. Nobody has hurt me. If nobody's hurt you, stop your annoying whining and shut up. No. And so, due to Odysseus' smart thinking, he and his remaining men managed to escape the cave and return to the boat, without the Cyclops ever learning who they were. Just kidding! Hey Cyclops! Guess what? My name's not nobody, idiot. It's Odysseus, and I'm from Ithaca. After escaping with their lives, Odysseus and his men continued on. Unfortunately, their path to home was blocked by an impenetrable storm. While stuck in the storm, they came across a floating island, home to Aeolus, a wind god. Oh great god, Aeolus. We're here because we need your assistance. Our ship has been blocked by a huge storm, and we can't get home without help. Eh, I'm feeling generous today. I'll help you. Just one tiny thing. You have to keep this bag here closed. That's it? Here you go. Thank you. The bag is full of treasure. Hey, Odysseus just came from God's kingdom. I bet you he was given treasure. I bet you're right. We need to get that bag. Alas, the bag was not full of treasure. The bag was full of wind that pushed the fleet miles away from Ithaca and back to Aeolus' kingdom. And I'm serious when I say they were literally, like, they could see Ithaca from where they were. They were so close. Can we have another bag? No. Now having to continue the journey without the help of the wind, the fleet continued to suffer. It wasn't long before more trouble had found their way to Odysseus. This time, however, trouble had come from none other than Poseidon, the god of tides himself. Odysseus of Ithaca! Poseidon! I have been very gracious to let you sail on my seas. Oh, and yet you go and blind my own son. Yeah. That's right, that Cyclops you blinded was my son. I am giving you one chance to apologize, 
or else. We only heard him to disarm him. We didn't, we didn't mean to... Uh, we didn't mean no offense at all. <laughs> you think you're so much better than everyone else, don't you? No. All of this could have been avoided if you just killed my son. You went and revealed your name, and yet you still let him live. Now die! While facing Poseidon's wrath, 90% of Odysseus' fleet was destroyed, leaving him with only 43 out of the 600 men he left Troy with. However, Odysseus' ship managed to escape and wash up on the island of Aea. Alright, we need to check if this island is safe. Let's split up. Uh, look at it. I think it's a cabin. Let's go check it out. Welcome. Oh, it's been so long since we've had any visitors. Please, please come in. After learning about his crew's terrible demise, and despite the warnings from his other comrades, Odysseus decided to go after the witch on his own. Hi, hello there. Hermes. Well, what are you doing here? I'm here to help you with your Circe problem. Who's Circe? Oh, she's the witch that turned all your men into pigs. You know. The one you need to stop? I'm gonna give you a flower. This flower will stop any of Cersei's spells that she may try and place on you. Amazing, am I right? You, you want me to eat this? And so Odysseus ate the flower, determined to save his men from Cersei's spell. Will he save them? Will he escape from her power? And if he does, how will he escape Poseidon's wrath? Well, if you want to know, I guess you'll have to just head to your local library to find out. I mean, this isn't even half the story. I'm not joking. I also have like six copies of the book if you want to borrow one, so 